Okay, here's my latest project. It's Jim O'Reilly's uh, Winter Hawk 4. It's a Coupe de Verre, which means Winter Cup. And I think this is a good project for uh, radio control because it's a little bit smaller wingspan, only in the 40 inches. It's very light, so I should be able to keep it in a small field. I'll show you a few things I did here that are different. Uh, the tail, the stab and the rudder are covered with a half a mil clear mylar, okay? And, uh, you know, I didn't need any fancy glues to put this on. I just used Yoohoo glue stick. I stuck it on, then I trimmed it, then I rubbed some more Yoohoo on the end just to strengthen it. And with an iron, I uh, just flattened the plastic a little bit, and that held on great. I thought it came out really nice. Now, don't thin the Yoohoo with alcohol like some people mention, because then it's too weak and it's not going to stick on right. I also, now it's rudder, uh, you know, radio control rudder only. You can see I modified it there. Okay, so I don't need any auto rudder. I can do that with the radio control. Um, I did make a variable incidence tail and I'll uh, show you how I did that. Basically, I just put in a little nylon screw and you can see the bottom nuts are for the climb. You want the stab flat, all right? And then I made a little release so it pops up like it is now, okay? And that's for the glide when you transition to the glide. And I did that just by making a little pin that I tied with the thread to the rudder. And then when you blip the rudder left, it pops it out. I'll show you that. Uh, the boom is a kite stick like t Jim describes. And then I turned a little joiner on my drill press, basically. The body is exactly as uh, Jim describes. It's mylar on the inside. Then I rolled a 30-second sheet. Uh, then I used a fiberglass cloth. I just uh, doped that on on the outside. Okay, and then we got uh, the radio control equipment there. Another thing I do that's different is I like to wrap the front end with a little bit of thread and then soak it in cy cyanoacrylate, okay, because it's just a lot stronger that way. If you hit a tree, you hit a cement, you don't have that, it'll split, uh, even with the uh, beer can liner on the inside. But once you have the thread on there, it's very, very strong. I also used a Montreal stop front end. I got this one from Campbell's Custom Kits. So instead of using the rubber tension, you know, to release it to hit the screw, uh, the Montreal Stop uses the torque, and it's a lot smoother. It's a very smooth mechanism. I think I'll show you that in another video. Uh, it's a little on the heavy side. They should weigh 70 or so grams. This one's about 100 grams, but I use hardwood for the front end. I had to make modifications for the rudder. Also, I put three coats of dope on the wing, which was a little bit too much. That made the wing kind of heavy, uh, but I'm sure it's going to fly great anyway. So we're going to go out and give it a shot. Okay, so I turned the radio on so you can see how the variable incidence tail works. So right now it's just flat. It has a little road band holding it down and you can see there's just a little thread. Okay, and that's on to, uh, just goes into a little shaft, which I'm going to pull out. Now you can, of course, just give it right rudder if you want, but uh, you don't want to do anything during the climb anyway. You're not going to be using any rudder. You just got to let it alone. It actually has a little bit of left rudder for the climb. And then what you want to do is, to, in order to get it to pop up for the glide, you just have to hit left rudder and that pulls out the stop. So let me show you that now. So I'm just going to blip it to the left. And you can see it pulled the rubber band and the stab pop right up. And now it's in glide position. You can adjust that with the top nut going up or down. That worked out pretty nice. So we're going to take this out and fly it and see how it goes. All right, I'll show you the variable incidence tail from another angle. So as you can see, I just have a little nylon thread I tied here to the uh, control on the rudder. All right, and then I have a little rubber band just to hold it in place, and it, it goes through, it goes to a hook that goes through a little 30-second hole here, and that holds the rubber band, which is on the top here. So it holds it down in the flat position. Okay, and uh, as I mentioned before, I can give it right rudder, no problem there. But if I give it left rudder, it's gonna pull the hook and pop up the stab, so here we go. There you go. So, that's basically how the VIT works. All right, now I'm gonna show you the conventional stop. You can see it clicks a little and then it folds. Okay, now I'm gonna show you the Montreal stop. As you can see, it's very smooth.